guys, my name is Crystal Esparza with Major Crew. Today we're going to be doing trick tips and we're going to be working on blunt to faking. Alright guys, a couple things you're going to want to know how to do is one, to be able to drop in and do tail stalls, uh, two is to be able to rock faking, and three is to have your ollies and you also need to have them down on corner pipes just doing ollies to fakie so that you're actually able to get used to the way that transition feels when you pop out of a blunt and into the round. Okay, so the foot position for this trick is going to be kind of like the way you do an ollie on flat. You're going to have your foot either around the middle or a little bit below the bolts. For this, you might want to put it a little closer to the bolts. And your back foot is going to be on the tail with your foot following the curve of the, uh, of the tail. An important thing to remember is to keep your shoulders parallel to the board whenever you're coming up, whenever you're popping out and coming back in. Just make sure your shoulders are parallel, otherwise the board is going to start turning left to right depending on where your shoulders are turning. So basically when you're coming up for this trick, it's kind of think of it like you're going to do a rock fakie, but instead of putting your foot in front, the front of your weight over into the platform, you're just going to let the wheels continue to ride up until that back wheel locks in. So when you're locked into the blunt and you're getting ready to do the ollie, you don't want to be leaning too much on your tail and have it flat like this because then you're not really going to get a pop out, but you don't want to be leaning too far forward either because then the board, if you try to pop, it'll most likely usually shoots out into the ramp. So you want to kind of be right in the middle, center with your weight. And when you do the ollie, it's not that much different than you would do it on flat. Uh, just a little pop, nothing too exaggerated. Just get that little ollie and the wheels will come right back in and climb back into the ramp. Alright, so the real trick, the secret to this trick is going to be your body weight. You know, making sure that it's not up here too much on the platform because then it's going to be real difficult to pop out of that ollie. But you don't want it to be hanging too far back into the ramp either. Just, just right about there is a really good spot to have your body weight. And the biggest thing of all with this trick is going to be commitment. So, I mean, you're not going to get this trick until you really decide you want to commit and really focus on that pop out and stay with that pop out. All right, so when you're first learning this trick, you might want to start doing it first with a grab and pull out of the blunt before you start learning how to pop. What you can do to practice on the floor is just to put your foot on the tail and your front foot up above on the bolts and just pull out. You just do that on flat a bunch of times until you feel comfortable with it before you start practicing it on the quarter. The way I learned it was just to go in and stall and just pull out without trying to actually land it. Just so you can get the feel of getting that that pull out of the blunt and back into the ramp. And another thing you guys might want to try to help you a little bit more with the commitment part of this trick is to try to do a blunt to rock instead. It feels a little bit safer too to get that lock on into the coping than to have to come all the way out and back into the ramp. So that's something that might help some of you all. Alright guys, so that was my trick tip on blunts. Um, to get some more trick tip videos, you can subscribe to Major right here. Uh, if these tips helped you out at all, and if you learned it and you want to show us, we'd love to see it. So just tag us on Instagram over here. And that's it. Good luck. Hope you guys get the trick.